robe. Like a prince. Like a queen. Let's obey the word of God. Amen. Amen. And not the world. Itong Facebook, ang daming sinirang personality niya. Mawawala respect sa inyo. Ngayon, kung teenager ka, fine. Pero ikaw, 40 ka na. 30 ka na. You're 30, you're 40, and you're acting like you're 16. It's inappropriate. Amen. And you are a professional. You're all professional. Praise God. Are you still here, guys? Huh? It's fire! From heaven! Amen. You pray for anointing, this is anointing. Amen. Amen. Let the anointing break the yoke! Amen. The yoke of is grace. Hallelujah! When you start, you're like, you're like, huh? You're like, praise God. Kaya sa mga celebration natin, wala nang wacky shot. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ikaw, photographer ka, huwag kang mag- uh, ano ng wacky shot, ha? Ganun lang. Pastors, you'll become pastors in the future, kay Raymond, kay lahat. You need to know this. Amen. Okay, let's go back to second eye. Praise God. So, Joshua, the high priest, so he put it on, and he answered and spake unto those who stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with chains of rain. His clothes was changed. This is only an illustration. This is a spiritual thing. Sikariah was talking about. Next verse. Then I said, put a clean turban on his head, even on his head. The turban was changed. So they put a clean turban on his head and clothed, and clothed him while the angel of the Lord stood by. So his clothing was changed from filthy rugs to the heavenly clothing. We are all wearing heavenly clothing clothes in the eyes of God. Your spirit, it's wearing a heavenly clothes already. Amen. Amen. Yes, in the eyes of God, we're wearing heavenly clothes. So we should act heavenly. Tell your name, Lord. We should act heavenly. We should act heavenly. Everything okay here? Amen. Amen. Huwag niyo ako i-disconnect sa Facebook niya. I want to see your accounts. Uy, binabantay ko ba kayo? No, dinidisciple ko kayo. Amen. I am not watching you, I'm discipling you. Amen. This is my job. To disciple you, to correct you, to put you in the right path. Amen. Everybody, to put you in the right path. Amen. Eh kasi minsan, kumakaliwa kayong ganon. Misan, itong road, maganon kayo. Jesus has always a staff. Baston. At yung dulo po nun, may kalawit na ganon. Para yung mga tupa, mga kaliwa, o, dito pa, diretso, ikaw kumakanan. Kinakawit po yan ni Jesus. Amen. Oh, we got it? Si Sananas may kawit din yan, di ba? Yung karet. Gaya-gaya talaga yung jablo eh. He has no originality. Satan is always an imitator. But on the dark side, sino kinakalawit niya? Mga unbelievers. Ikaw, dito ka sa club. Dito ka sa disco. Come to the disco. Dito ka sa drugs. And then later on, I'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah, this is what's happening in the spirit world. Amen. Amen. So, si Jesus, kinakalawit kayo pag kayo kumakanan. Mm, dito, balik. Dito, balik. Go back to the right path. Ano ba sabi sa Psalm 23? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be one. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet water. Stop! 
He takes us to the green pasture, meaning to the road to prosperity. Amen. Beside quiet water to give you peace and satisfaction all the time. Amen. When you're lying beside a quiet water, sino po nakaranas niya? Kami pa sa Laguna nung araw, praise God, sa, sa rice field, there is always a river, and the river is so clean and nice and cool, the water is so cool. You know, after we work in the farm, there is a mango tree or kamachili tree, praise God. We will stay beside the river. And you can hear the water, it's so clean, so cool, you know. Sometimes we take a bath in the, uh, Amen. In the river. It's so refreshing. Amen. Right, Kuya Sasa? Amen. Kaya Pampanga, ng Bulacan, Laguna. It's so refreshing. This is what Jesus wants to do to us. Amen. Lead you beside quiet waters. So you can take a bath and swim and clean your body and have a refreshing mind. Amen. Are we getting this? Amen. So Jesus is taking us away from all those worldly influence. Can you hear some amen? Amen. amen? Jesus is taking us away from the worldly influence. Why? The world will bring death into your life. Misery. <coughs> worry and fear. We have different systems. We Christians are covered by different systems. It is the system of God. It is a system of love and joy and peace, abundance, prosperity, unity. So world, ang system nila is backstabbing, fighting, gossip, killing, intrigue. Look what's happening in our government. That's their system. They are acting like kids on the street. Nakakahiya sila. Ang pinag-uusapan ngayon doon, street talk, junk talk. Eh, ikaw, ino mo candy ko, kukunin ko rin candy mo. You took my candy, I'll take your candy. This is what they're talking about out there. But praise God, we have a different world. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Amen. We have a different system. We have different rules. We have a different God. We have a different Father. Here, in the Christian world. That's who we are, and that's where we live. Amen. And we must conform to the system of our own world, the Christian system. Don't let the world dilute yourself, your mind, your own system. Let the system that is good, perfect, godly system, permit your life, control your life, influence your life every day. Live like a child of God. Live in the kingdom of God every day. We're not living in the kingdom of man. We're living in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Though we are here. Though we are here. Is it possible? Yes. We're living like a Filipino and then Kenyan. Though we are in Saudi Arabia, but we live still live like a Filipino, right? Amen. And a Kenyan. Is it possible? Yeah, it's happening here. We are in Saudi Arabia. We are in the Muslim world, but we're living like a Filipino. And like a Kenyan. It's the same. We are in the world, but we can live like a Christian. Amen. We can live heavenly. Here in this world. Be pure. The Bible says. Be pure. Don't let yourself be diluted by the world system. Madumi sila, madumi tubig nila. Their water is dirty. Don't drink their water. But yet some Christians are still... Drinking the water of the world. If I have a water here, okay. Glass of water. Clean, clean, clean. Who will drink that water? Amen. Clean, pure clean. Amen. Who will drink? Amen. Okay, if I put a water from the toilet on that glass, who will drink that? No one third lang naman. It's only one third. <laughs> but it's from the toilet outside, okay? A third of that water come from the toilet outside. Who will drink it? Huh? No one. Nobody. No one. And this is what we're doing. You are drinking the glass polluted by the water of the world.
if we are still a part of our system, a part of our body, a part of our life, still operating the way the world is operating, you're drinking a polluted water. Amen. Are we getting this? Amen. You're drinking a polluted water, and polluted water will kill you eventually. It will not kill you right away. You will not die right away. But if you always do that every day, later you'll get sick of the kidney. Saliva and everything in your system will be polluted, and then you will die. It's the same spiritually. Always drink pure, clean water Amen. from the Lord, Amen. from the book, from the Bible, from the church. Clean, pure water every day. And you will see you will grow a very healthy Christian. You'll grow to be a very healthy Christian. Pure. Clean. Your mind will be cleansed. Your speaking will be cleansed. Your words will be cleansed. And then the action will follow. Amen. If your heart is clean and your mind is clean, okay? The body, the, the words, and the, uh, uh, the thing you're saying will follow, and then the action will follow. Amen. So, hindi na kayo mahihirapan, wala nang struggle. There's no struggle in Christianity. Wala ka nang sasabihin, ang dami ng mga restriction. Na Christianismo. There are no restriction for me. Why? This is my system. If you say there's still plenty of restriction in Christianity, praise God, you're still diluted by the world. Ang kalahati ng system mo nasa mundo pa. Hindi ay bawal, hindi ay bawal. Walang bawal sa akin. Sa Christianismo, wala nang nag-join ako ever since I joined the church, I joined Christian, Christianity 30 years ago. I didn't see any restriction or bawal or whatever. Everything for me is good. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the word of God is sweet like honey. Amen. Amen. Are we getting this? Amen. You will live a clean, pure, healthy, happy, prosperous life. Amen. The godly system will change your life. Amen. Totally. Completely. You'll be happy. You'll be blessed. Amen. Complete. Verse 6. The angel of the Lord gave this charge to Joshua. This is what the Lord Almighty says. If you will walk in my ways and keep my requirements, then you will govern my house and have charge of my courts. And I will give you a place among these standing here. So the clothes has been changed. The robe has been put on. But still there are requirements. When you receive Christ as Lord and Savior, your filthy clothes has been removed. The garment of salvation has been put on. And the robe of righteousness has been put on your shoulder. You're now a prince. You're now a princess. But then, you will have to walk in my ways and keep my requirements. God said. Since you are now a prince, a queen, princess, whatever, Lord na bahala dyan, you walk according to who you are. According to who you are. According to what God said, who you are. You should walk like that. You should behave like that. Did you know that all those royal bloods are being trained from the beginning? Amen. How they will handle the spoon. How they will put the food on their mouth. How they will see. How they will behave in the dining table, how they will behave in parties, how they will hold the cup of wine, 
They were all trained from the beginning. So, when the royalty comes, you will see the difference. You'll see the difference. Royalty. The same with us. You walk like a royalty. You dress like a royalty. You cut your hairs when it's long already. You brush your teeth after you eat. You wash your hands after you eat and before you eat. And after you use a chair, you put it back on the table properly. And many more. Shine your shoes. Make yourself look like a royalty. Amen. Are we getting this? Amen. Ang daming Christian pag kumain. Iniwan na silya, tagi-tagilid. Ito yung mesa, ito silya. Kaya alam na alam ko pag may kumain sa gabi. Sa church. Kasi inaayos ko yan sa gabi. Naka-set up yan. Pagising sa umag, oy, naka-display siyang isa. May kumain, may nagbungkal. Kaya na wala ang ulam namin. If you'll sneak in, don't leave a trace. Hindi ka mahuli. Nahuli-huli ka eh. Even in the restaurants, when you go to the restaurants, after you eat, put back the chair properly. The spoons put together, hindi ko. Ang naka-ekis yung mga spoon nyo, tapos ang dumi-dumi ng... Trato nyo, gulo-gulo. Tatapan nyo ng tissue. Pag huwag kayo magtututpik sa harap ng tao, sa public. <laughs> ano kaya ginagawa niyo? Nagtututpik pala? Kadiri ka? Hello? <laughs> Kainin. Tinamaan. 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 Kaya nagtututpik, don't use tutpik in public. You, you go to the men's room, the ladies' room, and do it there. Madal doon ang table. Hello? Amen. Are you okay there, guys? Amen! Well, pa'yan. You okay? Live and walk like a royal. Amen. Amen. You are royal blood, all of you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you are royal blood. Praise God. Royal blood tayo. Kinakailangan na yung ibang mga Christian. Kaya nga ayaw ko rito yung mga maong na warak-warak eh. 